Olivia, won't you get in trouble for wallpapering your room? Oh, no. My mom said she wanted to make the house nice for my grandma's visit. And since my grandma loves flowers, I thought, why not put them on the wall? Hmm. How does it look? It's perfect! Grandma's going to love it! Olivia? What happened in here? I'm filling my room with flowers for Grandma. I have some wallpaper left over. Want me to do your bedroom? Maybe some other time. We've got to get your room cleaned up first. Why don't you start moving some of your things into Ian's room? Why? I'm staying here in my room with Grandma. Honey, Grandma's our guest and we want to make her feel comfortable. She'll sleep in here by herself and you'll get to stay in Ian's room. Won't that be fun? Ian's room? <sighs> Ugh, something smells in here. Hmm. Stop! I don't want my room to smell like a girl. Well, I don't want to sleep in a room that smells like socks. Hmm, let's see. My steamer trunk can go in that corner, and I guess I can set up my easel and paints right here. You bringing all that stuff in here? Of course, but there won't be any room for my stuff. Ian, Mom said you're supposed to make guests feel comfortable, and I would be very comfortable if you made room for my things. Mom! Yes, Ian? Olivia's bringing all her stuff into my room and spraying stinky perfume and telling me I have to put away all my toys. Where do you want your ribbon collection, Olivia? Over there, please. Thanks, Julian. Olivia, Ian is very nicely sharing his room with you, and that doesn't mean you can turn it into your room. But, Mom... It's only for a couple of days. That's practically forever. Mom, Ian has fleas. Look. There's no way I can stay in a room with fleas. I don't see any fleas, Olivia. They're very small. Look harder. What happened to the blackberry jam that was in this jar? It was empty when I found it. Excuse me. I've got to get out of here. I cannot stay locked up in this castle with my brother for another minute. What are you doing? I'm looking for a secret passage. Castles have lots of them. I've never seen one. That's because they're secret. <gasps> I found it! See you later. Let me come. Why? I thought you liked it here. I do, but if you're going to leave, then I want to leave too. Rule of life number 49. Little brothers always want the same things you want. Whoa, check out the spiders. Ew. I think I'll find another way out. Olivia, Ian, Grandma's here. <gasps> Grandma? Hello, kids. Mm -hmm. I just can't get enough of my little Ian. I'm not little anymore, Grandma. Well, does that mean you're too big for kisses? Guess so. Oh, what am I saying? No one is ever too big for kisses. <laughs> Grandma, yuck. Now, where is my Olivia? Here I am, Grandma. <gasps> I like your outfit. Now that's style, darling. <laughs> Okay, kids, time for me to teach you my latest dance moves. I can't wait! 
Okay, now listen to the beat and move those little feet. It your own. That's it, Olivia. You are a natural. Hi, Grandma. Hello, Olivia. I love the new wallpaper. Thank you. Did you need something? I forgot my, uh, ear ribbons. What about the ribbons you're wearing? Oh, yeah. Okay. Good night. I just remembered. I forgot my favorite slippers. You know, I might be a little lonely all by myself. Do you think you could bunk in here with me? Really? You wouldn't mind? I'd be delighted. Yes! And I know just the thing to make this sleepover extra special. Why don't you get cozy in bed? I'll be right back. One Sunday, two spoons. You're the best grandma in the whole entire world. I always said you had good taste. Do you always have ice cream before you go to sleep? Oh, no. Only on special occasions. Usually, I end my day by thinking back to my favorite parts of the day. That way, I only have happy thoughts before I go to sleep. Give it a try. What was your favorite part of today? Well, I liked the pancakes I made for breakfast. And I liked it when William threw his cereal. But I think my favorite part is this. This ice cream sundae? No. Being with you. Good morning, darling. Hi, Grandma. <sighs> I wondered where you got off to. I'm usually the early bird around here. Uh, well, I slept in Ian's room. You did? Why? Ian was sad I wasn't sleeping in his room. But please don't tell him that I told you. I wouldn't dream of it. So it's okay with you if I don't sleep in here? Of course. Besides, you know, you talk in your sleep. I couldn't sleep a wink. Now, come here. I'll show you some Tai Chi moves. <laughs> <laughs> the princess found the missing pineapple, and they all lived happily ever after. You always tell the best stories, Grandma. Do you have to go home tomorrow? I'm afraid so, but... At least you'll get your room back. What was your favorite part of today? This. Telling that story? No, being with you. Good night, Olivia. Good night, Grandma. One, two, three, eyes on me. Now, in a few days, our class will be hosting Parents' Night. So, I'd like us to put on our thinking caps and come up with a fun activity for the evening. Harold, 
got an idea. We could have a finger paint party. Only you have to paint with your feet. <laughs> Thank you, Harold. I'll keep that in mind. Anyone else? Oscar? Otto? How about everybody come to school in pajamas? The kind with feet. But how will we paint with our feet if they're stuck inside pajamas? Well, then I guess we'll have to save both suggestions for another time. <gasps> Olivia, what fantastic idea do you have for us? I was thinking we can make our own carnival. <gasps> we could have games and rides and prizes. <laughs> and come see the best, the biggest, the most fun carnival ever made! What a fantastic idea! We'll have a carnival for parents' night. Olivia, how would you like to be in charge? With my supervision, of course. Now, let's get to work! So then, I put everyone in groups of three to make up their own booth or game. Very efficient. And Mrs. Hogenmuller said that I can make up my very own special attraction. I know. You should make a game where you have to catch real fish with your bare hands. <laughs> Who would play that? I would. Thanks, Ian, but I want to keep thinking. Okay, here's a better idea. You could dress up Perry as the first alien dog from outer space. You know, Ian, maybe your class will have its own carnival next year. Yeah, so save those good ideas for then. But I'll forget them all by then. <laughs> Rule of life number 33. If you're not careful, you might get talked into dressing up your dog as an alien. <laughs> How are you guys doing with the ring toss? Oh, sorry, Olivia. But I decided that was much too boring. So we changed it to a pin the nose on the clown game. We love clowns, with or without noses. What do you think, Olivia? I like it. But what if you did something like... <laughs> what a great idea. Thanks, Olivia. Double thanks. Hi, guys. I can't wait to see what you're working on. It's a ride. We call it the Rolly Twisty Tunnel Ride. Watch. Uh, I'm not so sure about this. It, it makes you kind of dizzy. Whoa. <sighs> but I really want to use this tunnel in our ride. Looks like fun to me. But it might be even more fun if you try. Whoa, I can't wait to try it. Me either. Thanks, Olivia. You're welcome. Good luck. Hi. So, your attraction is the world's largest frog. <laughs> See? He looks pretty big next to these toys. He won't be doing that on parents' night, will he? Because my mom freaks out at frogs. Your attraction is really great. But I wonder if this might make it even better. Can you whisper it again? It's hard to pay attention when there's a frog on your head. Olivia, everyone is so thrilled with your suggestions. It looks like you're doing an excellent job as carnival director. Thank you, Mrs. Hagenmuller. And how's your own special attraction coming along? Well, I've had lots of ideas, but I haven't decided which one should be the extra special attraction. Well, don't worry, dear. Great ideas have a way of sneaking up on you. <gasps> Boys, those pies are for the pie throwing contest, not for eating. Sorry, Mrs. Hagenmuller. Okay, Dad. Here's how my extra special attraction is going to work. Hmm, classic design, very scientific. Pushes, pulls. Hmm. 
Olivia, can we see your extra special top secret attraction now? Yes, Olivia, what's under the sheet? Only the soon-to-be most talked about, most picture taken of, world famous, most amazing attraction ever built. Show us, Olivia. Sorry, sorry, but it's not ready for the public yet. You'll have to come back tomorrow at parents' night. You just might need a little help. Why don't you ask the boy standing next to you? You're being kind of a pest. Pest. I do not know the meaning of that word. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can help. Come on, robot boy. We've got a lot of work to do. See you later, parents of Robot Boy. <laughs> robot Boy. Welcome to Parents' Night, parents. Our carnival director will introduce all of the attractions. Olivia? Thank you, Mrs. Hogenmuller. Folks, follow me over to our first attraction, which was made by Francine, Oscar, and Otto. It's the one, the only, amazing clown beanbag toss. Would someone care to try it? I would. <laughs> Mom, you won! You got a clown doll for a prize! Oh, I'm so happy! Here we have bouncy beach ball bowling. All you have to do is throw a ball through the rolly, twisty tunnel and out the other side to knock down these bowling pins. Julian, will you demonstrate? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And step right this way, ladies and gentlemen, and see the most strange animal of all time. The last living dinosaur, the Frogosaurus. Watch it climb up this tall building. It's okay, Mom. It doesn't bite. <laughs> <laughs> and for our last attraction... Welcome to Olivia's Spectacular Funhouse! I couldn't have done it without my little brother, Ian. She's right. She couldn't have. <laughs> oh, Ian. <laughs> now, watch carefully as the Hall of Mirrors transforms an ordinary boy into... Hello, welcome to Olivia and her brother Ian's fun house. <laughs> Great job, everyone. Parents, enjoy the carnival. I really want to show you my new idea for a carnival booth. I would love to look at your idea, Olivia, in the morning. But my idea glows in the dark. So it's really best if we talk about it at night, like now. Your idea will be there in the morning. Good night, Olivia. Sweet dreams, honey. Good night, Mom. I've never seen so much snow. Exciting news, children. Because of this unexpected blizzard, school has been canceled for the rest of the day. Does that mean we get to go out in the schoolyard and play? No, it means you all get to go home early. While I hit the slopes with my cousin Ginger. Now, let's get our things and get dressed. Mustn't keep your parents and cousin Ginger waiting. Snow like this every day. Then we'd never have to go to school. 
Mom, if I didn't have to go to school anymore, would I still have to take a bath? Yes. Rule of life number 42. If it weren't for mothers, the little brothers would be very stinky. Francine, Julian, I spoke with your parents, and you're going to stay at our house until they're able to get home from work. It could take them a while with all this snow. I love blizzards. A whole day to play together. And I know the perfect game. Hmm. Welcome to the Hotel Olivia. Please, come in and make yourself at home. Wow. It's so big. Oh, this is nothing. You should see my other hotels. I wonder where Olivia is. Sorry to keep you waiting. What can I do for you today? I'd like a room in your hotel, please. Me too. I mean, a different room. Maybe one with the TV. I want a TV too. That shouldn't be a problem. <gasps> What's that sound? You mean, the wind? It sounds like a ghost. Oh no, there are no ghosts at the Hotel Olivia. Please, follow me. We'll be taking the elevator. After you. Now, each of the rooms come with fluffy towels, little chocolates on the pillows, and room service. And they make your bed for you. I like the sound of that. We get to eat in our room? That's just one of those things that makes the Hotel Olivia the fanciest hotel in the world. This is our stop. Kindly follow me, <laughs> This is your room, Francine. No offense, Olivia, but I'd like another room. This one smells like boy. But this is the room I picked out for you. I'll take it. I already smell like a boy anyway. Kindly follow me. And this is your room. I love it! Now here's the bed and the window. What's that for? Uh, that's in case you brought a pet monkey. Now over here are your little chocolates and towels. And if you want to be left alone, just hang this Don't Bother Me sign on your door. This is the best hotel ever! Excuse me, I think I have another guest. Sorry to keep you waiting. What can I do for you today? I'd like a room, please. I'm sorry, but the Hotel Olivia is full. All the rooms are taken. No fair. Mom, Olivia says all the rooms in her hotel are taken. Olivia, this is a very big hotel. I'm sure you can find a room for your brother. All right, follow me. It's pretty small. Oh, this isn't your room. This is. The bathtub? Go on, try it out. You'll love the privacy. And the soaps are free. Uh, I have to use the bathroom. Oh, one more thing. You have to leave your hotel room when other guests need to use the bathroom. Never mind. I don't want to stay at this hotel anymore anyway. Besides, I heard there were ghosts. Ghosts? He's making that up, Francine. There are no ghosts or pesky little brothers at my hotel. I promise. Are these grilled cheese sandwiches going to be enough for your guests? Hmm. Maybe we should give them a pickle, too. Good idea. And how about a big vanilla cupcake with pink frosting? I'm out of those at the moment. Please. I want the Hotel Olivia to be the best in the whole world. Hmm. I guess it's a good day to bake. Pink frosting, right? <laughs> Here's the 
sandwich you ordered. I didn't order a sandwich. I ordered a frozen yogurt pop. Oh, this must be for the guest in room 17. Be right back. Can I play? Not right now, Ian. I'm very busy. Here's your sandwich, Francine. Oh, good. I was getting really hungry. And could you make the bed now? I've messed it up. <sighs> hey, Olivia. Perry left a gross chew toy in my room. Would you come and get rid of it? Uh, be right there. Oh, and room service? May I get a glass of milk? In just a minute. Uh, who turned off all the lights? The store must have knocked the power out. Or a ghost did. I told you, Francine, we don't have ghosts. <laughs> come on, Julian. I'll take care of that chew toy now. Want to come with us, Francine? No, I'll stay here. <laughs> Are you sure it was a chew toy you stepped on? Positive. It had dog slobber on it and everything. Ghost! It was the ghost! I saw it! <laughs> ah! I just saw it too! <gasps> Where? I don't see anything. I don't want to stay in this hotel anymore. Neither do I. Olivia, Mom told me to tell you she can't finish the cupcakes until the power comes back on. What's wrong with you guys? We saw a ghost! I told you there were ghosts. If I do have a ghost in my hotel, then I'm just going to have to get rid of it. What does the ghost on meter say? Nothing so far. The ghost is up there. Maybe I should wait downstairs. You know, in case the ghost tries to get away or something. Good idea. pretending to be a ghost and scaring all my hotel guests. Well, Olivia, maybe Ian just wanted to play too. Sorry. Sorry, Ian. I know. How would you like to be the room service waiter? Cool. Oh, good. The power's back on. Room service. Julian and Francine's parents got home okay, but they said it was okay for them to spend the night. Oh, good. Because I promised everyone that the Hotel Olivia has amazing pancakes for breakfast. I mean, if you don't mind helping me. Not at all. It sounds like the Hotel Olivia was a big success. It was, but it's not as much fun as Hotel Mom. That's very nice to know. Mwah. Good night, Mom. <laughs> good night, Olivia. Class, by planting this tree, we are helping make our planet healthier. Does anyone know why? Julian? Trees help make oxygen, and oxygen is what people breathe. That's a gold star answer, Julian. That is why we are planting this tree for Earth Day. We are also all going to try and waste less to help Mother Nature. We're all going to go wash our hands now. If we don't wash our hands, we won't waste water. I think it's better for Mother Nature if we stay dirty. Wasting less is very important, but Mother Nature does not like dirt on children's hands. So everybody to the sink and then home. Let's find other ways to help Mother Nature by wasting less. What you doing? I'm helping Mother Nature by wasting less. I'm putting the boxes for glass, paper, and plastic where we won't forget about them. Cool. Recycling. 
Here, plastic, glass, and paper. No, Ian, this is for stuff we're done with. They'll pick it up and it'll get used for something else. Now it's time for Operation Help Mother Nature. How are you gonna do that? Quietly. Where's my paper? <laughs> oh, darling, is the electricity out in the whole house? We don't want to waste water. Hey! <laughs> Olivia! Did you put these here? I wanted to put them where we could see them and recycle. Olivia, honey, trying to save energy and recycle is a wonderful thing, but you need to learn a word called moderation. I already know the word moderation. Moder who? Moderation means... I'll take it from here, Dad. Moderation means not too much one way or the other, or not doing something too much. Exactly. Everyone into the car, we're having dinner out tonight. Can we walk to the restaurant instead of taking the car? It would be better for Mother Nature if we don't use all that gasoline. Well... It is a lovely evening. All right, let's all take a walk. If I take my tricycle, will that use up energy? <laughs> Only your own. Ah, just think, kids, if we were in the car right now, we wouldn't see all these beautiful stars. Look, there's Pegasus, the winged horse. Hmm. Oh, and look, there's, there's Gemini, the twins. And if you squint your eyes, you can see planet Olivia. Olivia, we don't want to be late to the restaurant. You know what? Walking to dinner was a terrific idea. And we didn't waste any gas. Rule of life number 44. Sometimes children know better than their parents. But we don't ever tell them that. Well, it's time for bed, Ian. Night, Ian. Don't turn off my light. I have to turn it off. You're wasting electricity. You waste things tonight you didn't finish your dinner. That's different. I brought it home so I could eat it tomorrow. Don't turn it off. I'm afraid of the dark. I know. I'll sleep in your room with you and then you won't be scared. Okay. Mom, I'm sleeping in Ian's room tonight. Not on a school night, Olivia. There must be some way to help you sleep with the lights off. Hmm. We're going to use my fabulous invention to help you sleep. Okay. Here we go. This is a special glow-in-the-dark helmet just like astronauts who are afraid of the dark use. Olivia, I don't think I can fall asleep like this. Of course you can. No, I can't. <sighs> Fine, I'll wear it. Go to sleep. I'm trying. <sighs> Cool. Fireflies. Where are you going? Ian, there's nothing to be scared of. Everything is the same in the dark as it is with the lights on. Come on and just try it for tonight. I know you can do it. Okay. Okay, I'll try. Olivia, bedtime. Okay. Ian... Here's how I'm helping Mother Nature. Cat litter made from recycled sawdust for my cat's litter box. Now, who can tell me how they're helping Mother Nature? Yes, Olivia? I'm going to figure out a way to get my little bother to sleep with the lights off. You mean your little brother? No, I mean my little bother. Well, that's very nice, Olivia. 
need another solution to your sleep problem. Hmm. This is my special knock-knock machine. Did you hear that? That means help. I heard it! See? All you've got to do is knock three times if you get scared, and I'll come right in. Will you come really fast? Really fast. What's the matter now? I think there's something in the closet. It's just your clothes and toys. Well, could you close the closet door? There, all closed. Now go to sleep. <sighs> What's wrong? I think there's something under my bed. Only good things are under the bed. Could you check? Oh, there is something here. What is it? It's furry. Furry? <laughs> it's only Edwin. Good night. <sighs> good night. Who wants cereal? Did you two use all your energy saving energy? <laughs> Get it? Oh. <sighs> we need a new idea for tonight. <sighs> you could say that again. If only there was something that gave light without using energy. How about a flashlight? That uses up batteries. I need to think of something. <laughs> Fireflies! Of course! We'll have to let them out in the morning, but we can get new ones tomorrow night. You did it! Now we can sleep without the lights on! And you're not wasting electricity! And I can get some sleep. By the way, whistling is an excellent way to play music without using electricity. I'm very proud of you for everything you're doing to help us not waste things. I'm proud of me too. Mwah. Could I have one more story? Mm, tomorrow. It's time for bed now. Good night, Olivia. Enjoy your lunch, children. Cream cheese. Pickles. Raisins. Julian, what is that? Peanut butter calzone. Julian, a calzone is pizza crust, tomato sauce, cheese. And peanut butter. Mmm. Wanna cry? No, thank you. Hi, Francine. What's that? It's a bento box. From Japan. Star fruit. Chicken saute. Itty bitty baby corn. Pudding. Chocolate. Whoa, cool spoon. Cool fork. It's both. It's a spork. Oh, wow. A spork. And this is a Brussels sprout from Belgium, in Europe. And you like them? At my house, they're delicious. Really? Yes, at my house, everything is just perfect. Olivia, you simply must come to my house for dinner. Really? 
Will there be Brussels sprouts? Oh, no. We never have the same food twice in one year. Well, I'd love to come. Thank you. I'll have my mother call your mother. <laughs> Remember to always say thank you. Thank you. Now, this is your napkin, and it goes on your lap. And Perry, always chew with your mouth closed. At a fancy dinner party, everything needs to be perfect. Miss Francine is expecting you. Wow. Wow. Please, Miss Olivia, allow me. Thank you. Olivia, you've come at last. Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you, too, Francine. Mwah. I do hope you like pink lemonade. I adore anything that's pink. It's time for the entertainment. <laughs> Olivia! Dinner time! Spaghetti and meatballs, my favorite. Don't you look nice? Huh? Thank you, Mother. Ian, would you pull out the chair, please? Sure. <sighs> Here you go. Rule of life number three. If you have to sit next to a little brother eating spaghetti, you'd better wear a raincoat. <laughs> Perry, that's my meatball. Come on, Perry, drop it. Ian, there are plenty of meatballs. But that's the best one, that one. <laughs> I'll take that. Oh, Mom. I'm quite sure they do not eat like this at Francine's. What? We don't want to be late for Francine's. They start dinner at precisely 7.05. We'll have big, tall chairs, wonderful tablecloths, and at Francine's, we'll use sporks. Sporks? Sporks. Fancy. You'll remember your manners, right? Mom. And please be sure to invite Francine to our house for dinner, too. It's the polite thing to do. Dinner? At our house? Why not? Because, Mom. Look. <sighs> Welcome to our cave. This is where you live? Yes, but only for a while, until houses are invented. Let's go make cave drawings. <laughs> yeah. Can I keep him, Mom? Please? No, Ian, because I'll end up having to clean up after him. Aw, oh, he won't make a mess. Will you, Spot? <laughs> Dinner's ready. You know, I'm not really hungry, thank you. Ugh. Francine, wait, look, we have sporks. Olivia, 
Olivia? Why, thank you, Olivia. But I have a rule about no fresh flowers in the house. They make a big mess when their petals drop. Oh, okay. Now, be sure to wipe your feet. Mustn't have footprints on the white carpet. Olivia! You're finally here! Hi, Francine! Girls, no shouting, please. Hi, Francine. Thanks for having me over. There is still plastic on these chairs. Did your mother forget to unwrap them? It's to keep them clean. But it makes your legs stick. Olivia, I assume you like Brussels sprouts. Mmm, Brussels sprouts. The other day, my cat Edwin stole Ian's goldfish out of the bowl. But he dropped it and William found it and almost ate it. Until my mother saw and scooped the fish up and put it back in the bowl. <laughs> <clears throat> That's quite a story, Olivia. But it's really not the kind of thing we talk about at the dinner table. And certainly not all that laughing. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Are you mad at me? Why would I be mad? Because of the Brussels sprouts and no laughing at the table and... Well, I was afraid you wouldn't be my friend anymore. Of course we're still friends. Come on, let's clean up. We're glad you could come for dinner, Francine. I've never seen anyone do that before. Oh, Ian always eats like that. <sighs> Try it. Race you. <laughs> hey, wait for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, slow down, kids. Slow down. <laughs> Good night, Olivia. Good night, Mom. Mom, can we have spaghetti night tomorrow, too? No, honey, not tomorrow. The next night? Hmm, a little too soon, wouldn't you say? Two nights after that? Good night, Olivia. Good night, Mom. Okay, everyone, I'm ready to go. How long will you be gone, Dad? Oh, it's a short business trip, honey. I'll be back in two days, which is 48 hours, or 2,880 minutes, or 172,800 seconds. Or, well, let's see, what percentage of a year is that? In 12 months, you, uh, let's see. Oh, oh, why don't you figure that out on the way to the airport? You don't want to miss your plane. Bye, dear. <laughs> Bye, Dad. Mm. <laughs> I'll miss you, Dad. Mm, I'll miss you too, Olivia. Oh, uh, one last picture before I go. Sure. <laughs> there. And when I get back, I want you to tell me everything that happened while I was gone. Okay, Dad. Olivia at breakfast. <laughs> Presenting Olivia and her family at breakfast. Ian, don't gulp the milk, just sip it. <sighs> Olivia, your eggs are ready. <laughs> what are you doing with the camera? I'm making a video diary of what happens while Dad's gone. And Dad loves breakfast. Well, that's nice, sweetheart, but you still need to eat your breakfast. Okay, Mom. Why are you wearing roller skates? They match my outfit. <sighs> Today on the A Day in the Life of Olivia show. 
Mom is making toast. <coughs> William is playing with toast. <coughs> and Ian is... <coughs> being Ian. to you, the mysterious eating habits of the little brother. Exhibit A. Exhibit B. But with some work, he can be turned into Exhibit C. Presenting Ian with the hiccups. Time for school, kids. Just one more picture before I go. Okay, Julian, let's set up the camera. Presenting Olivia at school. Today on the A Day in the Life of Olivia show. Mrs. Hogenmuller is teaching us about... What is she teaching us today? Cowbells. Where's the zoom button? Right here. Um, does it zoom out too? Olivia, Julian, yodelay, hee-ho! Time for me to teach you! Why is there a camera? I'm making a video diary for my dad. It's a home project, like a school project, but for home. Oh. And you're teaching about music, and Dad loves music. Well, I, I guess it's all right then. So, we're learning about cowbells. Yes. <gasps> Isn't that a lovely tone? Cows used to wear cowbells so herdsmen would know where they were. Cowbells are also musical instruments. By hitting different parts of a cowbell or holding your hand over the end, you can make different notes. Oh, lovely. Hmm. Next, I present to you my musical masterpiece featuring the cowbell. Of life number 53. When playing a cowbell, never underestimate the importance of enthusiasm. Olivia! Olivia! Thank you for that. Interesting version of Mary Had a Little Lamb. You're welcome. Okay, Olivia, it's recording. Hey, Dad. Now, presenting Olivia at the Playground. Julian, you'd get a great angle if you'd climb up beside me. I have a good angle. And I'm fine here on the ground, where it's steady and stable and not too high. Whee! Ta-da! Oh, look. Today on the A Day in the Life of Olivia show, we're joined by twins, Oscar and Otto. Actually, I'm Otto. And I'm Oscar. Well, you look exactly alike. That's, That's because, because we're, we're twins. twins. Yes. Swinging twins. of twins, Oscar and Otto. Actually, I'm Oscar. And I'm Otto. Like I said, they're twins.
for being in my video, twins. It's cool. So, we're learning about cowbells. Your dad will love this video diary, Olivia. It shows everything he missed while he was gone. It's good, but it feels like it's missing something. Like what, a name? Some tuna? A big ending! Dad loves a big ending. And that's what happened while you were away, Dad. <laughs> so, what did you think of our video journal? Oh, sweetheart, what a great job. We're very, very proud of you. Well, that was quite something. Oh, yes, thank you, Olivia. That was very... Wait, there's one more thing. A big ending! Hit it, Julian! Welcome home, Dad! You were gone and now you're not. I can't tell the twins apart. And we really missed you a lot. Welcome home, Dad! You went on a business trip. Playing cowbells is so hip. Mom told Ian, don't gulp, just sip. Welcome home, Dad! I'm glad you're back, because I missed you. The days you were gone ended up to two. I want to say I love you. Welcome home, Dad! Welcome home, Dad. Bravo. Now I feel like I didn't miss a thing. Bravo, Olivia. Bravo, Julian. Thank you, honey, for the video diary and the song. You mean the big ending. Ah, uh, quite right, the big ending. I'm very proud of you, Olivia. I'm proud of you too, Dad. And I'm glad you're home. Me too. Mm. Check. Suntan lotion, toothbrush, underwear? Check, check. And definitely check. Hi, Forget Scene. Hi, Julian. Ready for your cruise vacation, Olivia? Almost. I never knew planning a vacation was so much work. There's so much work because there's so much fun stuff to do. You're on a big boat sailing across the ocean. Sounds boring. You left Perry's leash at my house. Why is it in two pieces, Daisy? I was trying to get rid of the smell, so I asked my mom to put it in the washer. Oh well. A cruise is not boring. There's so much to do on the ship. Like dancing, games, fancy food, entertainment, fancy parties, more fancy food, swimming, and an amazing buffet of even more fancy food. That sounds very fancy. That's not all. The boat stops at interesting places, like tropical islands. Or pirate ah! islands? Sorry. <laughs> Are you really stopping on a pirate island? We don't know. The whole thing is a surprise. We could be doing anything, going anywhere. I wonder. Attention passengers, scuba diving begins now. For. Let's go get on the big boat. Bye bye. Fun bunkers away. away. Bye guys. Cool. Yes, it is cool, Ian. This is going to be the coolest vacation ever. I meant the cool spots all over my arms and my legs too. Want to scratch one? They itch. <laughs> it's not contagious, but Ian's got dermospotitis. It means itchy spots. It should go away by itself in a day or two. Can we still go on the boat? <laughs> Sorry, Ian. You need to stay home until the spots go away. I think it's best you plan your cruise for another time. Thank you, Doctor. But I've been waiting.
waiting for the screws for forever, and they already feel better. Uh, 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 yeah, oh, that feels good. <sighs> so, who's up for a jigsaw puzzle? All oh, my dreams over in an instant. <gasps> Everyone, we are still going on a cruise. How? You'll see. Just be ready at 0900 hours. Okay. What's 0900 hours? Boat talk for 9 o'clock in the morning. Be ready. We'll be there. Francine! I need to plan... A backyard cruise. A cruise. Okay. You'll need an ocean and a really, really big boat and several buffets with fancy food and lots of activities, shuffleboard, dance classes, bingo. I can do that. Attention, passengers. Put on your sunblock. The SS Olivia is setting sail soon. SS, SS Olivia? I'll get it. Hello, crew. Thanks for helping out. No problem, Olivia. It's going to be fun. Of course it's going to be fun. I helped plan it. You left this dog toy at my house, too. It was so old, it fell apart in the washing machine. It wasn't old. It was brand new. And it was his favorite. I know just how you can make it up to me. All aboard! The ship is about to leave. A ship? I'm Francine, the captain's assistant. Captain Olivia is waiting for you. Welcome aboard, everyone. Julian, start the engine. It's time to cast off. Whoa! Oh, wonderful. I'll stay here. I get seasick. Sorry, captain's orders. Engines are on, Captain Olivia. Next stop, Olivia Island. Seriously. Olivia Island. Land ho! Wow! Welcome to our tropical island. I didn't know we had our own island. Looks fake. Relax, passengers. Have some juice from the exotic tropical box tree. Enjoy the view and have fun. Two, please. That's more like it. <laughs> Ian, watch out for the waves! Oops! <laughs> ha! You got Daisy! Cruises are not fun! Okay, passengers, better save your energy for our next activity Bunch! Oh, now that's really impressive! I wouldn't say no to a cupcake. Whoa! You can finish the cupcake. Then you get to be the entertainment. What entertainment? <laughs> hey, can you play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? How are you feeling, Ian? <laughs> I'm still a little itchy. But look, no more spots. So, Ian, what do you want to do next? Hmm. <gasps> a vest! Mateys, I have taken control of your ship. Oh no, a pirate! <laughs> That's right. You better not cross me, or I'll make her walk the plank. I am not walking any plank. Oh yes, you are, Mitty. Uh oh. The, the ship! ship! Whoa! Oh, abandoned ship, everybody! How? We don't have any life rafts. We have a special life raft. Climb aboard, everybody! I've had enough. Daisy, you can't just stand up in the middle of the ocean. Not with sharks around. We are not in the ocean. We are on grass. And there aren't any... Shark! <laughs> 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 
Cruise. This was the best cruise ever. Well then, everybody sing. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, sailors, time for bed. Can't we go back to Olivia Island? The next island you're going to is the Island of Sweet Dreams. Yeah! Taking us on that great cruise really helped Ian feel better, Olivia. Now, time for sleep. They say good night, Olivia. Your big day is through. But how can I sleep? There's still so much to do. It looks like I'm tucked inside, snug in my bed. But tomorrow is chasing today through my head. Will I climb the highest mountain top? Or will I paint my masterpiece? Go ride a Bronco in the rodeo. Or wild and crowd on my trapeze. Princess, doctor, author, astronaut. From jungle start to ocean's deep. Careful, Olivia, the floor's slippery. I don't want you to step and slip. Okay, Mom, but look, backwards. <laughs> you like that, William? Watch this. <laughs> Sweetie, why don't you take a break? I can't. I have to rehearse for my tap dance recital tonight. Francine and I are partners, and we want our dance to be tap tastic. Dancer talk for super. Watch out for the dope. Oh, Olivia, are you all right? I'm fine, but I don't think my foot is. There you go. One shiny new cast for a newly sprained foot. Now you can stand up and walk around, and your foot will be fine. You're right. It doesn't hurt a bit. Does that hurt? Nope. How about that? Still nope. Huh? <sighs> so, is that it? Almost. Olivia needs a few more things. Crutches to help you keep your balance. And because you're such a good patient... Sticky stickers! Wearing a cast is a lot like wearing a tiara. It's fancy and special and looks good with everything. I can't wait to show Francine. <laughs> Ian. Well, Francine, what do you think? I think... I think... You think it's pretty cool. I know. You want to sign it? I saved you a place. What's wrong? How are you going to tap dance in our show tonight with a sprained foot? Easy. Like this. Whoa! <laughs> That's what I was afraid of. Wait. I forgot to use my crutches. Whoa! <gasps> Oops. Olivia, I really like being your partner. But we have to quit fooling ourselves. You can't dance with a cast on your foot. Sorry. Hey, Olivia. Some of my stickers are falling off. Can I borrow one of yours? Quit it, Ian. I'm trying to think. I've got to find a way to dance in my recital tonight. 
Maybe I just need a better cast. I wonder. Is the patient ready for a much, much better cast? Ready, Doc. Prepare for full cast formation. <laughs> better. I'll never fall now. It just needs one more thing. Look! I'm dancing! I'm dancing! I'm falling! I'm falling! <sighs> There's got to be some way I can dance without falling down, Ian. I just wish I knew what it was. Hey, that's it. I'll build my own rolling walker. <laughs> It'll be just like William's, only bigger. And instead of rolling and walking, I'll roll and dance. You know something, Olivia? With the right wheels, this just might work. Did you find any wheels yet? No. But I found this. Perfect. Come on! What about wheels? I think we still need wheels, Olivia. I'll be right back. Here you go, Ian. Wheels. Lots of them. Yeah! All right, William. Snack time is over. What do you say we go for a roll? Huh? <laughs> hey, have you kids seen the wheels for William's... I hope you don't mind, Dad. But we needed them for my invention. See? Huh. I sit in here, and my legs come out there. I call it the Olivia Tip Top Tapper. It'll help me dance in my recital tonight. Your recital? But, Olivia, what about your foot? A dancer never quits, Dad. <laughs> well, as long as a dancer puts all the wheels back when she's done, on with the show. <laughs> Noon, everyone, and welcome to our top dance recital. There's a lot of excitement backstage. The dancers can't wait to show you everything they've learned. So, let's begin our show. Hi, Olivia. Hi, Francine. Olivia! Ready for our big dance? No! I mean, yes. I mean... I didn't think you'd be dancing, so... I found another partner. Harold Hockenberry? <laughs> Hi, Olivia. Wonderful job, boys! And now, our next dancers, Sophie and Alexandra, will dance to Snappy Feet. Thanks, Harold, but I can take it from here. You mean I don't have to dance? Phew! Could I still wear the hat? Go for it. Everything's ready, Olivia. What's ready? You'll see. And now, for our final act, Francine. And Olivia. And Olivia. Olivia? Cool. Ta-da! 
That's my girl! Bedtime, Olivia. Five more minutes. I'm teaching William how to tap dance. Tap, tap, tapity tap. <laughs> I think William needs to walk before he learns to dance. And both of you need to get some sleep. But I'm not a teeny bit tired. They say good night, Olivia. Your big day is through. But how can I sleep? There's still so much to do. It looks like I'm tucked inside, snug in my bed. But tomorrow is chasing today through my head. Will I climb the highest mountain top? Good morning, class. I'd like you to help me welcome someone new who's joining us for the day, Ms. Stern. Hello, Hello Ms. Stern. Stern. Is she a teacher? No, Olivia. She's come to watch our class. I'm picking the best teacher to win the city's Teacher of the Year Award. She will win, win for sure. Mrs. Hagenmuller, what does the Teacher of the Year get? Their picture on the side of every school bus in town. I've always dreamed of being on a school bus. I'm going to do whatever it takes to make sure Mrs. Hagenmuller wins that award. Let's get started, class. Ni hao, children. Ni hao, Mrs. Hagenmuller. Very good. I see you remember how to say hello in Mandarin Chinese. Mrs. Hagenmuller is definitely going to win. Now let's begin the day with our morning chores. I to bring Olivia and Daisy, it's your turn to clean the frog's terrarium. No problem, Mrs. Hagenmuller. Whatever it takes to help Mrs. Hagenmuller win Teacher of the Year. I'll hold Hopper and you clean. Okay. <laughs> hey, wait. Why can't I hold Hopper and you clean the cage? I'm holding that frog. No, I'm holding that frog. Oh! oh no! Ah! Ah! Ew, 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 ew. Uh, ew, uh, ew, something ew. wrong, girls? Olivia lost Hopper. No, I didn't. He's right around here somewhere. Well, go find him, please. Oh, no. Look! <gasps> gotcha! Uh, look, I'm a princess. Oh, excuse me. Whew, that was close. You hold Hopper, mm -hmm. I'll clean the terrarium. Ooh, very nice terrarium cleaning, girls. Very nice indeed. Mrs. Hagenmuller's going to win. She's going to get her face on a bus. I wouldn't want my face on a bus. I think it would be great to have my face on a bus. Or any place, really. It would show that I'm the best at something. I wonder. <laughs> Woohoo! Nice one! <gasps> Even better! Whoa! That's the best ever! One, two, three! Eyes on me! It's puppet story time! Awesome. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Goldilocks. She went for a walk in the forest and came upon a house. Goldilocks and the Three Bears, everyone's favorite. Not everyone's. Which is something that we would never do. Mrs. Stern must be really bored. I know how to wake her up. Ah, chew! 
Ew. Oh, my. Do you need to see the nurse, Olivia? No, I can't leave. I feel better. It won't happen again. Well, all right. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Oh, this part is too hot. <laughs> oh, this part is too cold. Mm, this part Ooh. is just right. Mrs. Hogan? Yes? Sorry, it's just that your story is so exciting. Can I play the bears? Why not? My bears are very loud. Sure to keep everyone awake. <gasps> oh, no. Who's been in our house? Who's been eating our porridge? Growl. Er, I have, and I'm very sorry. Sorry's not good enough. Here's a song about it. Rawr! Get out of our house. Stop eating our food. Don't sleep in our beds. Don't sleep at all. Stay awake, stay awake, stay awake, wake, wake. And she left the house and the bears lived happily ever after. The end. Rawr! Thank you, Olivia, for that very loud performance. How'd I do? You kept Miss Stern awake the whole time. Okay, class, it's craft time. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 Yay! There's nothing bad about craft time. Where's the red paint? Daisy's using it. Ah, ah, ah. Uh-oh, one more squeeze and Miss Stern will be red. Forget about being Teacher of the Year. There's no learning going on here. Just shenanigans. Goodbye. <sighs> oh, well. There's always next year. Free play outside. It's not fair. Mrs. Hogan-Muller is the best teacher. Yeah. Remember when she taught us the planets by dressing up like them? And when she taught us addition and subtraction using apples? The planet Neptune is blue. And one plus one is two. The planet Neptune is blue. And one plus one is two. Hey, that rhymes like a song. <gasps> That's it. We'll show Mrs. Hogenmuller that to us, she's the best teacher ever. Gather round, everyone. We're gonna do a show. Class, it's time to... <gasps> We have something to show you, Mrs. Hockenmuller. Hit it! You taught us how to write a sentence, some mathematics, too. Camels of humps, planet Neptune is blue. We learned to ask a question when something isn't clear. So to us, your teacher of the year. We learned that words aren't always spelled how you think. Some Olivia, and thank you, everybody. Imagine that. I'm Teacher of the Year. Look at me. I'm on a school bus. Let's go for a ride. Yes! Yes! Did you know that there are 365 days in a year? And flies taste with their feet? That's incredible, dear, and a little gross. Do you know how many minutes until bedtime? Uh, zero? You're exactly right. Uh, but wait. They say.
Good night, Olivia, your big day is through. But how can I sleep? There's still so much to do. It looks like I'm tucked inside, snug in my bed. But tomorrow is chasing today through my head. Will I climb the highest mountain top? Good night, Olivia. <laughs>